different different course. Um, hard hard to tell whether it's harder or easier. It was still you know a very tough course. The wind blew hard today. Uh, there's lots of hills, heavy chip seal, so um, maybe equally as hard on the bike. Um, uh, the, and then the run course, I mean the conditions improved and, and we got a pretty nice run. We got a bit hot in patches, but um, um, yeah, pretty, uh, pretty fair day really. Yeah, that's right. Um, I sort of didn't really know where Rhodesy come from. Last time I got a split to Rhodesy, he was five minutes behind on the bike and wow. then he came flying past me at about 3.30 pace on, in the first car in the run. So I was like, geez, where did he come from? But um, yeah, he, he took off very fast and um, I just sort of trusted my pacing and, and thought, you know, that's, that's unsustainable. Yeah. Um, and then sure enough, within another K, <laughs> he disappeared. So, yeah, yeah. Um, And then... Uh, yeah, I was joined by Dill and, and that was good company, I uh, felt pretty good in the first 10k and I was striking the ground well and, and moving pretty, pretty, you know, pretty light on my feet and uh, yeah, felt, felt good and, and it was pretty positive about how things were going. Um, then uh, Dill put a bit of a surge in, maybe around 15k and again, like when Rhodes had come past me, I just thought, oh, that's, that's, that's a bit fast and I sort of... Um, maybe <coughs> backed his inexperience a little bit and, and stuck to my guns in terms of pacing. Um, at the end of the day, if I decided to go with him, I don't think I would have been able to stay at that pace today because I was, last 10k was a struggle. Um, yeah, so at, at that point, I you know stuck to my guns. Um, coach always talks about the last 10k and, and, you know, just be patient, get to 32k and... Um, and then see if he can get something going and so I got to 30 you know 32k and I was still hovering around four minutes and I was like right now now it's time to try and get something going but around the same time um, the wheels started falling off so uh, it's hard to yeah, make some progress when that happens so Dill was phenomenal you know seven minute gap in the swim wetsuit swim is over the guys he bit out of the water is, is huge um, so he put pressure on us uh, you know we had to ride hard to, 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 to shut it down a bit at the end um, and then yeah I mean I only deserved to come second the way he raced was was phenomenal for a guy on this first race so um, a lot of respect for what he did there today like good on him and, and I hope um, that gives him some real encouragement to push on in, in, in long distance racing because he's obviously got a lot of talent Oh, absolutely. Like, Dill might see it differently, but I sort of liken it to um, the win I had in 2011. You know, I turned up and no one knew who I was and went off the front all day and, and stayed away and, and, and took, took the surprise victory. So, um, yeah, absolutely under the radar. Um, you know, on the bike, he went out to eight minutes, something, and we were all sitting in the pack, cruising along. No one was too worried about Dill, but, um, yeah, I think that'll be the last time that happens. <laughs> Yeah, well that's right, like no excuses, um, you know there may be a bit of a hole in the old endurance tank after the year I had last year but you know hopefully there's no injuries in the legs this time around and we can push on and get back in some solid training and hopefully uh, get the ball rolling again. Excellent, well, well done. Cool, thanks.